So let's check out what happens to the standard deviation of beta 1 hat when we increase the number of observations. Maybe let's uh, copy the old value as a reference. Uh, I write it as a comment. SD for uh, n equal 20 was equal to uh, was 0 0.3318. Now I have changed the simulation. Basically, I set the number of observations to 80. I call this function again. Now I uh, so I run all the function again so that it's updated. Then I run this replicate command. I have now a thousand new observations of beta one head, but now the sample size was eighty. It was four times as large as before. And I can draw another histogram. Uh, it looks not so much different, but if you look at the um, at the values on the x-axis, you will already see that it's more narrow. The mean is still roughly around 1, but let's take a look at the standard uh, deviation. So now it's um, um, it seems only half as large. Um, so for 80, we have um, around half as large as standard deviation. So if we have four times as many observations, we seem to have half uh, as a large uh, standard deviation. So, but we see the more observations we have, in the sense, the more precise we estimate uh, the true coefficient beta 1. And we can also look at some other variations. So let's uh, set the n again to 20. And we can think what happens, for example, if we increase the standard deviation of our error term u, if we say it has a standard deviation, let's say, of 2 instead of 1. Or we can also think what happens if we increase the standard deviation of our explanatory variable x, so if we set it to 2 instead of 1. And this you will be asked in the next quiz, and then we'll see what happens.